everyone, my name is Erica, and today I want to share with you a full moon art activity. So there is no doubt that the energy of the moon affects the earth, it affects the ocean through tides, and it also affects us emotionally. I know for myself, for the week of the full moon, I definitely feel a shift in energy. I see it around me, I see it within myself, and I feel things more intensely, more deeply, and everything is just amplified. And I used to really fight this feeling and not like it, but over the years, I've learned to harness that energy from the moon and create some sort of ritual around this time so it can help me release what I want to release and put it through some sort of creative act. So each cycle of the moon represents something different. The full moon is all about releasing and letting go. It's almost like the end of a cycle, the beginning of another. I created this art activity for you to help you celebrate the fullness of the moon, to help you shed light on what you want to let go of while using the element of water. You're going to need two pieces of paper, one mixed media, one normal, a pencil, scissors, a paintbrush, a plate, a palette, a sponge, white glue, a jar or spray bottle of water, and acrylic paints in the color of the moon. Before you begin, set up your space and light a candle or an incense. Take a few deep breaths in and out. Tune in to the timing of your breath. Place your hands on the paper and set an intention. Say out loud or in your heart, Under the light of the full moon, I cleanse and release what no longer serves through the creative process. Take your first piece of paper and trace a plate to create a full moon. Cut it out and intentionally write down what you would like to release. Write it all down, let it all out through words. Take deep breaths. Place the paper on a plate and let it soak in water. Let it soften, let the water cleanse it all away. Touch the paper, rip it up and let it disintegrate. On the other piece of paper, trace the plate again. Start to connect to the colors of the moon and start to add paint around it. Flow with the paint. Sponge on the colors mindfully and slowly. Let yourself relax and enjoy in the blending of the colors. Remember to breathe. Add splatter to create a cosmic effect. Take your plate of paper and water mixture and add glue to it. Mix it up until it turns into a paste. Add it on top of the moon to create a full moon effect. So this is the full moon that I created. And I love knowing that everything that I wrote down of what I wanted to let go of is in the craters of the moon now. The whole process of taking that piece of paper, putting water on it, watching it disintegrate, and mashing it up with my fingers was just super therapeutic. And I love knowing that it's just creating beauty. I also really enjoyed the sponging of the colors around the moon. That was a really calming process for me. I almost want to leave this picture outside tonight under the full moon so that it can charge and maybe I'll frame it, put it by my altar as a reminder for me that that we live in cycles, that life is a cycle and we go from releasing to receiving and it's just a whole cycle of in and out and and that it's okay you know when times get tough when the energies are intense it's okay because it's going to go back to normal again i really hope that you try this exercise and if you do i would love to see it i would love if you would share with me so you can always tag me on instagram or send me email i would love to chat with you about it and if you are interested in going deeper into this therapeutic art process, I am available for one-on-one -on -one online sessions. So if you are interested in that, 
please do not hesitate to reach out to me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I am back next week with another art therapy activity for you to help you on your healing journey. I am sending you guys all love and I'll see you next week.